Look, I know the odds of finding a match are brilliant. But I've got a really good feeling about this. Yeah, so have I. We want the chance of her getting ill, millions to one. She beat them odds, didn't she? Too right. I still think they'd do better if they held these recruitment drives in a pub. <laughs> Aren't you worried we'll end up on some criminal DNA database? Well, no, not until you just mentioned it. I'm still getting me head round being on a register. Are you two still mithering on? For Peter's sake, just get on with it. Yeah, all right. I'll, I'll just snip back home and get Jimmy. Uh, don't even think about it. Get in there. If I ever need a Rottweiler, I'm definitely employing you. So, um, they'll be gone at least a few hours, swimming, then junk feed. Oh, great. Listen, um, I've got a new game. It's brilliant. A game? Marlon, I'm not 12 and I'm not Paddy. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Of course you're not. I, I knew that. <laughs> but I think you'll love it. I'll go on, let me show off just a little bit. Mm, all right, then. All right, OK. So, I want to go home. You wait here. You wait here. <laughs> Five minutes, you follow me, okay? Oh, yeah, all right. Go, go, go. Well, you just do as you are asked for once. Go back and sit with your sister and stay with her this time. I should be getting off anyway. Well, you're leaving. What do you care? Yeah, you're right. I should take a two-hour lunch break every day. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, then, thanks for the drink. I'll see you when you start. Why do me and Auntie Rach always have to look after Amelia? It's your job, not mine. She's a whiny little cow. I thought you were supposed to be the mad one. <laughs> Half pleased, Diane, and whatever he's having. You all right, lad? You scaring off as well? Fancy joining us for a few? Maybe go to the pictures or a drink in town. Well, I'll have to see how I'll get on. I'm supposed to be fixing Zach's van later, so... It's my mum through the back. Last time I looked. I'm not a snob. It's just that Belle, my daughter, she's very easily led. And you've immediately got my lad down as a wrong then? No. She's fell in with an older lass lately and she's been up to all sorts. So, yeah, maybe I did overreact because of that. I tried to look out for her, you know, keep her out of trouble, but it's not been that easy lately, to be honest. Yeah, I know what you mean. How Sean got in with a bad crowd at school, ended up getting excluded. Why do you think we ended up here? Right. Um, so his dad's not around. He's got a dad, OK. Just works away a lot. I'm not judging. No. I do understand, you know, it was dead hard for our Aaron when he come out, especially with the men in our family, so... I can see how it might be difficult for your Sean. Yeah, well... Got a bit of stick at school. I'm back on our old estate. So you and uh, your friend, you've not been together that long, then? No, they are, yeah. Better sit down if you're stopping. Great. Strike. Yeah, we've all decided we want company cars and new uniforms. You've already got a company car, you quad bike. You're so greedy, Adam. Oh, I get it. Hmm? Your mum and dad have started their quality time early. Ah, oh, uh. So, what's your Sean doing about school, then? <sighs> Starting a new place as soon as I can find somebody who'll have him. He'd be happy going and getting a job, I reckon. Oh, they're all like that. What does his dad do? Builds roads. Works up and down the country, away for weeks at a time. They must both miss him. Yeah. Dan misses us. That's why I won't let go. Mm. Uh, tell me to mind my own again. But... Uh, mind your own. <laughs> go on. How did you get to meet your new partner? 
Ruby's a carer, and she was looking after Dan's mum. Oh, I see. He must have loved that. No. He had a few choice words. But things were rocky before I met Ruby. She must be special, though, for you to leave your husband. I wouldn't have put my kids through all this if she won't. Good on you, love. It must have taken some guts. But, well, if you're happy, then they'll be happy, eventually. Do you want another one? The box has gone, hasn't it? What abusing it, were you? One of its previous careful owners, more like. What did I say to you? You better go get it fixed now. I'll talk back to the guys, give you a quote. I knew this had happened. Right, I want a full refund in cash. <laughs> I, I can't do that because I haven't got it, all right? Well, you better go sell some drugs or whatever it is you do for a day job, then, haven't you? I haven't got it because me and your missus came to a little agreement. What are you on about? OK. Relax the knees. No, no. That's too relaxed, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Keep a firm grip. Right? <sighs> Eyes forward. I just feel daft holding on to a bowling ball that isn't even there. Oh, just bless you. Oh, no, no, no. It is there. Can you see it? Only in more of a virtual reality way. Oh, listen, so come on. Right. Positive mental attitude, yeah. OK? Yeah, get out of the way. Let me have a go, just, just, Just go for it. I promise not to laugh because I'm used to handling Paddy's disappointment because I am the superior sportsman. <laughs> so just, and I was rubbish when I first started, so just. <sighs> Beginner's luck, <look>, that. <laughs> well, yes! Yes! <laughs> What's this? What's going on? Do you know what? Underneath that green tea, caring, sharing, oh, I know, like steel, you're really competitive on yes, the slide. It's better than being patronised. What? Me? Patronising? You're a hustler. Where did you learn to play like that? Uh, uh, my dad's bowling club in the tea breaks. Thank you. Sorry, bowls? <laughs> bowls. As in, as in, a person who's just had a hip placement but happens not to be on a cruise that week. Yes, yeah, senior citizens who would kick your butt at virtual bowling. Yeah, that kind of bowls. My dad's salt for days, just like you. I'm not sulking. I'm not watch the face. <laughs> <laughs> you told me you were going to be home ages ago. I broke down, didn't I? Ken's towed that useless pile of metal you bought off him back to the garage. So I told him I wanted my money back. In cash. Well, what did he say? Look... I'll speak to him and get him to fix it free of charge. How are you going to do that? Get him to cut you another deal? He told you about our arrangement then. Well, funnily enough, yes, he did. Look, we needed a car, so I, I got us one. Well, we didn't need one that badly. Why do you go behind my back to him? Well, what were you doing about getting us some wheels? I can't believe that you've lied to me. You told me you borrowed it off your mum. And why? Because I can't talk to you anymore. I can't tell you stuff because you're so pig-headed and arrogant. You kick off at the slightest thing. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I used to love that you were so single-minded and you stuck to your principles, but now you're just stubborn and angry and always right. Oh, it's all coming out now, isn't it? Yeah, because I'm sick of it, John. We're always dancing to your tune, and it's the whole family who suffers. You've got absolutely no belief in me whatsoever, have you? That's why you're so keen to sell everything up to Declan. You're convinced I'm going to fail. Oh, I'm not listening to this. I did nothing wrong. So you can take your stupid male pride and shove it. You get back here now. Why? What's the point? <sighs> what are you playing at? I'm the Rob again. Like you lot have got anything worth Nikki. Evidence. Say cheese. <laughs> I could get in here dead easy. Oh, you won't get back out. Sam and my dad would come up there and kick your head in. They'd never catch me. I can break into any house that I want. Not if it had an alarm. I'd be in and out that fast. It wouldn't matter. Oh, yeah, right. You like to make out you're some big gangster, but I reckon it's all just that. Oh, yeah? Oh, too slow. Oh, come on, give it back. 
Don't be pathetic. Hand it over. Oh, here we go. I just thought I'd pop in and thank you for your brilliant customer service. First, you sell me a death trap heap of junk, which you no doubt charged me way over the odds for because you knew how desperate I was. So cynical. Shut up. I'm still talking. And then, then you think the best time to tell my husband about our payment plan was at the side of the road while he was broken down. You finished. Now, why don't you tell me why you're really here? Emmerdale continues in half an hour.